Hey everyone, this is Nick Dearvertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be doing an introduction to advanced financial modeling. So this lecture series has two main purposes. Uh, one is to provide an ending to the first course of financial modeling with Python and Excel and give kind of a roadmap of where you can go in the future to learn more advanced topics. Then the other reason is that this serves as a jumping off point for a new course that I'm creating, Advanced Financial Modeling with Python. Um, so it's going to be a little bit slower uh, releasing all the content for that course because the first course uh, was developed uh, as part of University of Florida. And now this advanced course is just on my own doing it. Um, so I'm going to be releasing videos, hopefully uh, weekly or so, um, on additional more advanced topics. But in the meantime, I also give you a lot of resources in this lecture series so that you can go out and learn these topics on your own as well. Um, and then we'll have um, videos looking into each of the particular areas that we're going to introduce in this lecture series. So we're also going to just quickly uh, recap here what we covered in the first course um, so that if anyone is coming in to try and do the advanced course, they can get a good idea of what they uh, didn't get from the first course. Um, so we covered both Excel and Python basics in, in the first course. Um, and that includes, you know, just general Python programming, as well as building full on financial models. Um, as well as uh, Excel, we kind of took the basics for granted and then focused on building the financial models. And also in, in both tools, how to structure things appropriately. Um, such that for larger models, you're not going to end up with this mess. Um, you're going to be able to stay organized. Um, so some of the areas that we covered in that, uh, in the first course are, um, how to do a couple different kinds of financial modeling, looking at cash flow modeling and probability modeling as well as different ways that we can extend the base model using sensitivity analysis, scenario analysis, and Monte Carlo simulations. And looking at the particular types of financial models that we covered in the first course, uh, we looked at a retirement model, how much you need to save to retire uh, with a certain amount at a certain time. We looked at capital budgeting, uh, in order to analyze a project and find out whether uh, it's a profitable project. We looked at uh, also evaluating giving a loan to someone else and uh, factoring in the probability of default into that and bankruptcy and recovery and all of that. Um, and in the last part of the course developed the discounted cash flow valuation of a stock both the estimation of the weighted average cost of capital, as well as the forecasting of the future free cash flows. Um, but there's a lot more to financial modeling. Um, uh, really, that course is still kind of just hitting on the basics of everything. Um, and so this lecture series, we're going to look at a number of different areas where you can continue to expand in the future uh, with your skills so that you can become an advanced financial modeler. Um, so those areas um, include additional types of financial models. Um, it includes also um, uh, pipelines, how we get data into the model in an automated way. It's going to cover some additional math tools um, <clears throat> in terms of, um, you know, additional mathematical capabilities we can build into our models, such as symbolic computation and optimization uh, and, and a few more things we can look at there, advanced statistical models. 
um, we're going to look at particularly um, for Python how we can present the results from the model because you know with Excel it's it's fairly straightforward you just have the spreadsheet you format it well with Python there's uh, a lot more to the story but there's a lot more possibility there as well we're also going to look at um, additional programming topics that you can learn both uh, Python specifically, as well as more general programming topics, which are helpful. Um, and we'll also just cover some, you know, general extra resources that you can use to continue learning. So that's the overview of all the areas that we're going to cover in the advanced financial modeling with Python course. And for the rest of this lecture series, we're just going to go through each area and give kind of the highlights of what we're going to be looking at, as well as resources that you can go out and learn on your own. And then going forward, I'll be releasing more lectures on each of these topics as well. So if you want to get notified about uh, when I'm going to be releasing those future videos, please just go ahead and subscribe on YouTube and you will be notified. So that's a quick overview of the introduction to advanced financial modeling. So thanks for listening and see you next time.